Hi guys. I mean, look at us. Look at us. It is a sunny Tuesday morning in Dubai and I'm going to view some properties because as you know, I've wanted to buy property over here for the longest amount of time. So I'm going to spend the day looking at different properties and yeah, I'm going to show you a bit around. I'm not going to show you too much, but I'll show you a bit around and let you know my thoughts. Look at me being consistent. Oh my God. So I look a bit hungover. I don't feel that bad though. I went to um, Opa last night. It's just loads of fun. So I'm feeling a little bit shaky, you know? I mean, I'm a little bit weak. My brain feels a bit foggy, but we're okay. Miles. Turn left onto 2A Street. Yeah, running a little bit late, but the first location is Le Mer, which is a really nice area. It's quite far out, so I'm going to see how I feel about it. But it's, like I said, really cute area. So yeah, I'll show you when I go in. Beautiful. Right, okay, so quick recap. I just went to Le Mer. What's it called? Le Cout? Le Cot? Never heard of it before. It's like supposed to be like Mediterranean village vibes. And honestly, it is so beautiful. And the prices are not bad at all in comparison when you think of what you would get for something in the UK in that sort of location and that sort of like standard. So I'm really excited. <laughs> because today is quite intense. We've come for a pit stop at Leto. We're gonna have a bit of food to eat. We've been to the Mer. Absolutely gorgeous. I want that one, but I've been told that I need to stop rushing and just cool it. But the area is so nice. Like, I want to be there. Like, I want to be there. But anyways, had a look in City Walk and then City Walk didn't look as attractive once you had seen the Mer. Like, it just didn't. Even though I lived there for six months, so I lived there. The building that I lived in, that apartment that I lived in is for sale as well but they've put it up by like 500,000 dirhams so I need to have a look into whether I can negotiate that but now that I look at different areas I'm like do I really want to be in City Walk? I love it here and some of my friends live here but do I need to be here? Like I can come here when I want to I don't have to like whatever. So the next place on the agenda is Albarari which is a lovely area as well. It's a bit further out so I'm going to see how I feel about that but you get really good amounts like good amounts of space for your money and then lastly Dubai Creep Harbour which will be a little bit off plan which is what I like to do that's what I do in the UK that's what I've done with the Manchester purchase I did that off plan because then you get equity when the like area is completed but yeah that's just a quick little update honeys um, and I'll bring you along. Oh, also, with the City Walk Apartments, I didn't actually show you the inside because it was like people's houses and I, like, I was like, mm, I don't really want to film inside here. Like, it's a bit weird. Like, people's photos and that. So, yeah, I decided against it. But they were cute. You can just take my word for it. This iced tea is potentially the best thing that you will ever taste. If you come to Dubai, if you come to Leto, you have to get this iced tea. It's called Pink Lady. If I could, you know when somebody says if you could only eat and drink, one thing for the rest of your life. I don't know food wise, but definitely this without a doubt. But apparently it's really sugary, so I'll stick to having one this time. It's the second location is absolutely to die for. Oh no, this is the third location. Oh my God. Can you believe that this is a life for me? I just, sometimes I just can't fucking believe it. I'm gonna get run over. Oh my god, but how beautiful.
Okay, hi guys. It has been a couple of days since I did my property viewings in Dubai. I've just had a lot to think about. It is a big decision to make where I want to live or just where I want a holiday let. Just buying a property is a big fucking deal, like, and I'm pretending it's not, but it is. I just feel really grateful and privileged that I'm in the position that I am to even be considering purchasing a property in a different country. I don't sound that grateful, but I am. I'm just so grateful. We'll fucking sound like an amber, but yeah, I just wanted to add that in. I am really, really grateful. I know I'm in a very privileged position to be able to say, you know what, I don't like London. I'm gonna move somewhere else. I feel like 2022 is gonna be my year, honeys. Do you agree? I feel like it's gonna be my fucking year. And somebody said I need to start showing off more. I will start showing off more, but genuinely, I'm just very normal. Doesn't matter how much money you've got, doesn't matter anything. Buying a, well, it does matter how much money you've got. I haven't got that much money where buying a property is not a big fucking deal. We're not there yet. I might get there one day, but we're not there yet. Anyways, so I finished viewing the properties, finished from Dubai Creek Harbour, which I showed you. And yeah, I'm just figuring out what I want to do. I've been speaking to mortgage advisors about like my options as a non-resident, whether I should get my residency here or not. Just figuring all the logistics out so yeah i went to go and visit four different locations obviously there was more than four properties but four very different locations to get a feel of what kind of area i want to be in now i already know i lived in city walk for a little while and i love that area so that's definitely a big tick but i went to go and see la mer which i said obviously the place is gorgeous it's built like a mediterranean village it's all bright and colorful yellows oranges like the most beautiful place ever you've got like four pools you've got view of the burj khalifa and the burj al arab cute little skyline next to the pool like it is just the perfect place i feel like i would holiday let it out really quickly and i just really want to fucking get it when the woman was showing us around i felt like i was on sun and sunset i can't even lie to you like i was like oh yeah like 10 million oh i'll take it Thank you. But it obviously wasn't that expensive. I'm not buying a fucking 10 million pound apartment in Dubai. We're not there yet, like I said. But more I post on YouTube, you know. So yeah, I think my heart's set on La Mer, just figuring out how I'm gonna do it. City Walk's obviously great. Downtown, so close to everything. Little city vibes, like mini city vibes. Obviously I'll get my stuff from Leto. Like I do my work there. There's this cute little mall where I get my nails done and stuff there. There's Tasha's there, you know, there's everything. But the price in comparison to La Mer, La Mer's way more attractively priced for similar sized apartments. Like you're talking about nearly a million pound cheaper. AED, that is not pounds. <laughs> <laughs> um, AED, um, the Hums. So yeah, there was City Walk, Dubai Creek Harbour was too much like Marina. I'm not a Marina girl. Marina's very touristy, very tall tower. I'm definitely somebody that wants a low rise building. I don't want a high rise tower plot, which is not my vibe at all. I, you get really good views, but I'll sacrifice the fucking view. I don't want to be in a tower. I like having space. I like having a balcony that I can look out onto and not feel physically sick. Like, I don't want to feel like physically sick and i've also got that thing where i look over a high edge and i want to like throw my phone off the top so i feel like it would be very what's the word it would be very irresponsible for me to put myself in a high-rise tower because somebody might land an iphone 13 might land on someone's head and it could potentially kill them from that kind of height so yeah i don't trust myself so that's kind of off the card there was a place called al barari which you would have seen gorgeous modern so much space like so much space for like your money really beautiful community area like there's little restaurants there's like bike trails hiking trails there's a safari park over the other end the views are really cute balconies absolutely massive but it's just far out and i don't want to get lonely and i know i do like i'm sort of like a lone wolf anyway and i do everything by myself Myself, but I wouldn't want to commit to buy an apartment by myself and be that far out obviously I, I, I am thinking about getting a car whether it's in London whether it's in Dubai who knows I feel like if Dubai is going to be a better option because if I'm not in Dubai then I'll be able to holiday let the apartment and also rent out the car so I'd be getting money back rather than wasting money so I'm just figuring out everything there's a lot to think about but it's really exciting times and yeah just gonna try and make loads of money this year because I want to buy fucking 45 million 
apartments and I want to just have a house everywhere. Do you know what I mean? I want to have a car. I want to have a car in London. No, I don't. That's a lie. I'm just being extra. Let me know in the comments which area you like the best. Obviously, I didn't show you City Walk because it was like somebody's apartment, but I'll get some pictures to put on in this video. And yeah, you can help me pick which one I want to go for. And that's all really. I feel like that's a boring little vlog, but I feel like it's a filler because we've got some fire content. I'm going to try and teach. I'm going to try and teach this little one how to do a couple of tricks. That'll be a cute little vlog. I'm going to do a day in the life to buy edition and I'm going to do a little makeup tutorial because since I've learned how to do my makeup okay, I won't say I'm good yet, but I'm okay. You have been asking for it and I do a little peach shadow now. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it a little bit of insight into my life um i'm definitely not moving to dubai for no man this is the apartment that i'm buying by myself for myself and for holiday letting for investment purposes because i'm a boss babe go boss go blessing like subscribe comment do the most again and i'll see you again when i am back on my bullshit <sighs> alex let me know if this video is boring as fuck or not what am I doing? Anyways, bye.